The future of nuclear power has been a matter of public debate since 2011 when an accident crippled a plant in Fukushima. Eventually, all of Japan's 50 commercial reactors were offline. Citizens launched demonstrations last year against a decision to restart two units. But since then, the passion for protests has faded. NHK World's Yochiro Tateiwa went to find out why. The aftermath of the 2011 nuclear accident prompted protests after protests against atomic energy and plans to restart idle reactors. Sometimes thousands of people gathered, sometimes hundreds of thousands. Tatsuya Yoshioka organized some of the demonstrations. He was thrilled people showed so much passion. More than 60% of the Japanese people, the, especially this uh, civil society opinion, is very strong to, against the nuclear power plants. But month by month, Yoshioka watched their passion fade as people shifted their focus to other issues. Reconstruction from the disaster is much more important than the nuclear issue. Nuclear plants are a complex issue because there are so many points of view. I don't have an instant opinion. I would like to see nuclear power plants restart. Electric bills are too expensive. Yoshioka is trying to reignite a nationwide discussion about the use of nuclear energy. We lose opportunity then really to shift the, our society toward to the nuclear power free. Yoshioka says he's frustrated. Japanese seem to have forgotten about the risks nuclear plants pose. Without nuclear power, utility companies are importing more oil and gas. They've started to pass those costs on to their customers. They've been pushing to restart reactors. So have the executives of big corporations. They say Japan needs a stable energy source. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and his ruling Liberal Democratic Party have been making the same argument. They support the nuclear industry, provided it's well regulated. Nuclear power plants that meet new safety requirements shall be restarted in accordance with professional judgment. Leaders of opposition parties all say they want to abolish nuclear energy in the future. But so far, they've failed to present concrete ways of achieving it. The Fukushima accident exposed the risks and the expense associated with nuclear power. But Yoshioka says Japanese have become complacent. Day by day, that's a the memory of the or impression of the March 11th is uh, going bad. The utility company have started the process of restarting their nuclear power plants. But we must not let the memories of March 11, 2011 fade. Regardless of our personal views on nuclear energy, it's clear that more debates on how to power the country is essential. Yoichiro Tateiwa. NHK World, Tokyo.